Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. Today we are going to discuss about what is view in database and what is the difference between view and table. So this is one of the most important question for new data engineers or even uh, in the interview people are asking this. So let's try to understand it. So first I'm just creating a table. So before doing this exercise, I need a table and I have, I have to need have some data sets with me. So I'm just preparing it. So I created the table with employee ID, first name, last name, email, hire date, job title and salary as the column. And then I'm just inserting around seven rows. Now the logic what I have to execute on top of this table is I have to get all the employees details with the condition of their salary should be greater than 90,000. Okay, so I have the query here. Okay, let me run the query. Right, see, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So first record alone I didn't get because the salary is just 85,000. Okay, now let's come to the view part. Now imagine here we have only one condition. In the real time, your data processing queries will be more than what you imagine. You will be having lots and lots of conditions, lots and lots of join conditions. Imagine 200 lines of SQL query. So each and every time you don't want to run the SQL query to get the output. So instead you can create a view for this particular select query. You can see here, it's the same select query what you've been seeing in the previous shell. What I just added is create view. I given a view name as that's it. So this will create a view. It's similar like a table, but not exactly the table. It creates a view for the select query only. Now I just create this view and in the next shell, I'm just selecting the view only. Okay, I'm just selecting the view and I'll be getting the output of the select which I executed in previous shell. See, same output only you are getting. So now let's talk about the advantages of using view. First thing, people who is using this high honors, they will not know what is the actual select query is running in the backend. That's the first advantage. And if you have any sensitive data in your column, you can hide that. So that is the second advantage of it. And now you may get the question in your mind, why should I have to create a view? Rather, I can create a table and I can store this output of the select rate. You can do that. But the thing is, the reusability will not come into picture. So the query reusability comes only with when we go for view. Imagine you are creating a table for the output of this query. It is storing. It gets stored in the database. It uses the space, right? So in your hard disk, it is going to get stored. And that's not the only thing why view is important. I'll tell you another point. So now imagine I'm just adding one more record to my table. In that case, how view will behave? Okay, let me show you an example. Let me just add one more record. I'll make it as eight. Now I'll run this insert. Okay, record inserted. Now I inserted in employee table. Now I'm just going to run this high honors. Okay, which is the view which we created. See, I got eight records. So view is something that get refreshed automatically. You don't want to uh, do any other thing. Just you don't want to recreate the view. But now imagine if it is a table, that means you created a table for this output. Now whenever you insert a record in the employee table, you are supposed to insert that in the table which you created for this particular select, right? So we have a lot of problems, right? So now you may ask me a question. So when then I have to go for view? In all cases, no, it's not. Based on your downstream requirement, your business requirement, you have to decide whether we have to go for view or we have to go for a table. There will be a requirement where your downstream ask a new table for the output. So you can hand over the table to them, else you can go for view. So this is the main advantages of view and difference between view and table. And if you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. And I do lot of data engineering videos on my channel, especially in big data alone. I have around 25 hours of course, which is there in my channel. Go and have a look. Thanks for watching. The data tech is my Instagram page. You can follow there as well. Once again, thanks for watching.